19 years of epic Disney, Disney classic, and I'm sure many of you can agree with me on this. Even today, the movie that shows the transition of Simba the baby lion into a full-grown noble beast is one of my favorite stories of all time. It was also the first movie I've ever watched, and ultimately helped me relate with one of my life stories. In the beginning of the story, Simba was a playful young kid who had a naive perspective of his life. Simba in his younger age reminded me of my high school self. Like Simba, I had, an I had an immature personality, thinking I should be living life during my adolescence. I rarely, I rarely attended class, went out with my friends, went to parties, and developed an overconfident self by my senior year. I was apathetic and did not, did not care about my future, as well as my education. When Simba lost his father in Mufasa, it was a turning point in my life up as well. No, I did not lose my father, but, but I lost my beloved body. I, re I, received muscle, I received a muscle strain on my chest and muscle spasms on my back due to excessive wrestling practice. I was unable to do any physical activities and for half of my senior year, I felt all the best. And yeah. But then I met my team one and Kumba, my mom and my dad. I've never really spent much time with my dad and my parents because I went out so much with my friends. When I, was at, when I was at home, I forgot how much they cared for me. They were mad because they were mad, but then they still cared for me. Because of this, I realized how important education was to my life. Once I started attending Fordham College, I changed my study habits and learned to succeed in time management. In the end, Lion King was an awesome movie, and it has taught me many lessons and led to a great ending. Sadly, I don't call this the end, for I still believe I have room to grow. With my parents supporting me, with my parents' support motivating me, I will continue to improve into a better person for myself.